Hello everybody and welcome to the Dot Comet newsletter for December. I know I promised something technical this time around, so instead of jumping into Flex or Angular, I'm going to share a problem I actually had with Cold Fusion and I thought I'd try this video screencast approach. So this is an issue that I ran into with an actual client and it was an actual production issue. They upgraded from CF9 to CF10 and um, they're providing a web service that um, another department is sort of accessing to get at data. And although this isn't the web service, this conceptually is doing the same thing. I have a service, testservice.cfc, with a single function on it, get data. And then, um, then it creates an XML packet and returns it as a string. And then over on their side, they're, they're using this. They're um, consuming it via SOAP services. The problem is, and this wasn't something we even thought to check, is Cold Fusion upgraded from CF, they upgraded the uh, web service engine in CF9 and CF10. So um, it actually started returning different data. Going to switch screens here. This is SOAP UI. This is a great tool for testing web services, especially SOAP web services. So the top half, I have um, uh, the Cold Fusion 9 service. Really, it's running the same code I just showed you on both Cold Fusion 9 and Cold Fusion 10. So you see some things here returned. Uh, we want to pay attention to this get data return thing. Over on their end, the consuming end, they were hard coding, drilling down into the response and looking for that. But as you can see on the Cold Fusion 10, which is on the bottom half, they changed it. So now it says return instead of get data return. So this XML string that's being returned, um, the whole packet has changed and that just screwed up their code. And um, we needed a way to fix that and I was researching that and I got some help from a Twitter friend, as always, who sh showed me this great thing. So I have the Cold Fusion 10 administrator up here. And um, if you go under data services and select web services, you can actually choose which version of the web service engine in Cold Fusion you want to use. Um, I hadn't even know this has changed. But if I s switch down to um, version 2 to version 1 and click update web services, and then I'm going to go back to SOAP UI and I'm going to run the Cold Fusion 10 web service again. And you should see the result over here changed. So now it's identical. So we just had to make that change to make sure that our web service, our SOAP web service, was returning the same amount of data, the same type of data in the same format. I don't know why this change was made. I assume under the hood, Cold Fusion 10 was upgraded from um, upgraded their version of Axis, which is an Apache web service engine, which I believe powers the Cold Fusion stuff. So anyway, if you run into this problem, if you're providing web services for other uh, clients or consumers to consume and use and you do this upgrade from CF10 or CF9 to CF10 then you may experience this issue and here's the solution thank you and I'll see you next week month see you next month